Hey guys, today's video is about the CPC 200 T-Box Mini, and this is one of the AI boxes which is meant to upgrade a car which just has bog standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's check it out. So an AI box is a very small device which is meant to be plugged into the USB port on a car which has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, from the factory or if you have a big brand head unit like Pioneer, Sony, Kenwood, etc. which has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can plug this in and you can get many more features from that radio from this box. So this one's made by Carlink Kit. They are actually a very well-known established brand. In fact, I use a product from Carlink Kit in the ICM3 upgrade kits to give CarPlay to the ICM3 in some of the older Saab 93s. Anyway, what we have here is the CPC 200 T-Box Mini, which has three gigabytes of RAM and a quad-core Snapdragon processor. Uh, so it should be pretty snappy, but we're gonna have to get it out of the box to check it out. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So in the box we get a very sleek looking box. If we just have a closer look at it, you can see that it is kind of textured and it has uh, the brand name here and there are two LEDs uh, on the bottom of this as well over here. And then if we have a look at the back, we've got three items and if you have a look at the top there, you can kind of see that we've got some markings. So here we have a SIM card. This is the main USB entry point, and then we have the memory card expansion slot, which takes a micro SD card slot here, just on the back there. And that's really all there is on, the, uh, on this particular box, just those connections. And that's all you really need, because everything else will be dealt with through the actual head unit itself. So also in the box, we got a USB to USB-C connection, which is going to be for the majority of cars. And they also supplied us with a USB-C to USB-C cable in case your car has a USB-C connection point instead. Now before we go into the car to try this out, let me remind you that I don't get paid to endorse any company or products. It's not a pay promotion. The review that I'm about to do is gonna be completely based on my own opinion using this item. Right, let's get in the car and have a look. So for the purposes of this review, I'll be using a Kenwood 7017 DABS. And this represents any Android Auto and Apple CarPlay head unit, including factory ones which are built into cars. So this particular Kenwood has wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto, no wireless functionality. So what I'm gonna be doing is plugging the USB-C cable into the back of this CarLink kit, like so. And then we're gonna be plugging the USB into the Kenwood system. Right, so let's turn the ignition on and see how long it takes the CarLink kit to be recognized by the Kenwood system. And now we need to wait for the Kenwood to boot up. And this little gray box over here shows when it detects Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So that's what we're looking for now. The box itself is flashing a white light. There we go. So now you can see Apple CarPlay has become available. So it's been recognized. Ah, now look intelligent connect interconnection system. So that is the CarLink kit showing its boot up screen. And there we go. So it is now on the dashboard. Okay, so now that we have the full Android experience on this head unit, Let's have a look at what it looks like. What we're looking at now is the dashboard of the device. And along the left-hand side here, we have the four most recently opened uh, applications, followed by the home button on the bottom left. Then we have a widget for audio playback. The phone apps are here, so you make phone calls and message using these icons. Settings is to change the settings of the device. I'll go into that in a minute. Bluetooth phone is basically how you pair your phone to this device. Maps is Google Maps, and Home will actually close the uh, CarLink kit device down and give you back access to the Kenwood display again. But we'll go back into it. We go to the next page, 
we have uh, some more apps here. Auto Kit, for example, is wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which I'll show you in a bit. You do have the Play Store, so you can install whatever app grabs your fancy. And then you have things like uh, YouTube, which is awesome, and Netflix. Uh, so you have all the stuff that you would not normally be able to have with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay on your head unit now, which is great. They give you this little uh, widget. So if I just move the screen, if you want to go back home, you can press this little widget and you can go back home and it will take you back to the desktop again where all, your, all of your apps are. GPS Test Plus gives you um, an idea of how many satellites the thing is currently connected to. And as you can see, the GPS inside the Carlink kit is actually quite powerful. It currently has access to uh, 16 of them, which means it's gonna triangulate our position very, very well indeed. So if we have a look at the settings now, so just go in here, you can see that it's set up exactly like a normal Android device. So you're gonna be able to find your settings in here quite easily. And there is an AutoKit T-Box Mini settings, and this one gives you some troubleshooting options. And also it gives you uh, the ability to remove or add the floating button here, which uh, some people might find annoying. Then you have boot up app. You can actually set an app to start when this device starts. So you don't need to wait for it to boot and then start it yourself. You can literally just do it yourself here. So that's a nice feature as well. So the look and feel of the Carling kit is actually great and it's responsive as well. And that's the kind of thing that we look for. But well, let's talk about speed, starting with the specifications. So this unit has the Qualcomm, which is a Snapdragon, QCM2290 CPU, that's a quad core CPU. Uh, it has uh, three gigabytes of RAM and it has Android 11 as standard. So the specifications, three gigs and that particular processor make this unit fairly fast. But we can test that now by doing our normal tests where we open Spotify and Waze. So we're gonna do that now and see how long they take to open. So Spotify is here. So let's see how long this takes to load up. There we go. Uh, that wasn't too long, and let's just hit play. Yeah, and, and the thing is, don't forget, this is still a Kenwood system. So even though you're running Spotify from the Carlink kit, it's using your Kenwood sound system, so it does sound amazing. And it was fairly quick to boot up, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's try Waze. Okay, and there we go. Yeah, so it's pretty fast. I mean, what more do you want? And the, obviously the thing is you can uh, then go between Spotify and Waze or any other apps that you have instantaneously because these apps have already been loaded into the memory so that it will quickly react between the two of them. Don't forget that at this point, no phone is connected. So you're getting all of this functionality from just having this Carlink kit built into it. So that is awesome. Right. Let's talk about the features. Now, aside from the fact that it has all the standard Android functionality, like the ability to have video applications like Netflix and YouTube, it also has wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. And I'm gonna test that now. Now, I've already paired my phone using Bluetooth, so this should just be a matter of going to AutoKit. And it says, please connect Bluetooth Auto. I think we need to touch. There we go, Stuart Z4. Connecting, and there we go. So this is actually Android Auto at the moment. Yeah, so this is all of the apps that are currently on my phone uh, that are compatible with Android Auto. But this is basic Android Auto, so as you can see, there's no video applications. It's just music and navigation that you're gonna find on here. But it works perfectly fine, and that's completely wireless. My phone is not connected, so I've just upgraded my Kenwood system, which only has wired Android Auto, to have wireless Android Auto, just using this Carlink kit box. I'm gonna test my iPhone now. So what I've done is I've paired my phone with the Carlink kit, as you can see, it's a Stuart's iPhone phone here so now I should be able to go to auto kit it says connecting it 
and there we go. So this is a completely wireless iPhone, which now has wireless Apple CarPlay on my Kenwood, which wasn't supposed to support wireless Apple CarPlay, but now I have it. So I've got that great update as well. So this thing literally does everything that I want it to do. I had a basic Kenwood system in here with only wired CarPlay. I now have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. I have the ability to watch Netflix. I have the ability to watch YouTube, and it is fairly quick as well. It's not the fastest system that's out there, but it definitely does the job, uh, so it's pretty good for the price point. Right, let's give it some scores. I hope you found this video useful. If I missed anything, please ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe because there will be more just like this coming up.